This might be controversial to say, but from someone that has four university degrees, getting a first class, an A plus or 90% is actually not that hard when you think about the components that are required for it. And there are three main characteristics of any first class or top piece of academic writing. The first is critical analysis and original insight. The second is that it's logical and it has a clear structure. And the third is that there's scholarly evidence and there's a really strong academic style. Now, I know that I might have oversimplified it a of it but actually using an AI tool like Jenny AI you're able to very quickly and easily make those changes to be able to implement the characteristics of a strong piece of academic writing within your piece that may be struggling a little bit. So if you haven't heard of Jenny you've been living under a rock. Jenny is a powerful AI writing workspace that was built to help researchers and students to read to understand and to write your research more effectively. Essentially its aim is to be your very own intelligent research assistant. So let's open Jenny up so I can actually show you what this platform looks like. So, so when you first open up, you need to give yourself a prompt and that's to be able to describe the paper and what it is that you're going to actually write about. So in this case, I'm going to go with the smart headings uh, just to make it a little bit more tailored than the standard ones. And you need to write a little bit about what it is that you want Jenny to help you with. And as you can see, I've given enough detail that it has said there's sufficient context for Jenny to use. So I've given it information about what kind of paper it is, what I'm looking for, and maybe the demographic. So this is university students. And then I've asked to improve my prompt and it's just made it that little bit better. Uh, and then I can start to write. And the first thing that it does is it gives me these really smart headings. And these are headings that will kind of break down the subtopics that I might want to write about. And by the way, you're not forced to write about these topics at all, but it's a bit of a background as to what things you might want to include in your actual piece of writing. So here you can see that it's kind of gone from like an introduction, the impact of screen time, direct effects through different kinds of studies. It's given me kind of methods section where I can write about um, where I found these studies from. And I think that this is really helpful to help you with a bit of an outline and a plan to help you get started with writing if you're struggling with that. But I'm not going to start to write from scratch in this video. I want to show you how to polish your piece of writing that you may have written already and it just isn't that first class essay it's just not that standard that I'm looking for so this is how I'm going to polish it so straight away I'm really missing references the writing I don't think is very strong there's still a lot of things that are missing um, so what I can do with Jenny is I can use this autocomplete feature which I think is really powerful it uses either papers within your library or from the web to add more detail about what it is that you're writing about where it thinks that you could do with more help so you can see that it's added a little bit about um, digital media and it's also given me the reference and citation at the end of the sentence automatically but as I said I want to include increase my critical argumentation. So what I've done is I've highlighted a little section at the end of this paragraph and I've gone to the AI edit tool. And this tool allows me to strengthen my writing through the fluency, um, strengthening the argument, a counter argument, um, paraphrasing, simplifying and things like that. So in this case, I'm going to go with strengthening my argument. In my introduction, I need to have a strong argument. There needs to be evidence for what it is that I want to discuss within this essay. But I also really like this AI insight where it said what's changed and why. So it's not just saying, oh, here's the improved text or here's some different text. Actually, the reason why Jenny has provided you with this different piece of text is because it's important for the implications or it elaborates on this interest. It's giving you feedback on how you can actually improve yourself. So I think this is a really, really valuable tool and one that makes this an ethical AI tool to use um, within academia. And then I've gone ahead and I want to add a counter argument to show the other side of the discussion. The reason why they've added this counter argument is because it facilitates access to resources for future careers. And it's just given me that extra detail that I need to be able to justify why uh, this is a counter argument. I can also play around with the document settings as well to tailor it to my needs. So I can turn off the autocomplete if that's something that you're maybe not interested in. It might not be to everyone's taste. So you can turn that off. I can also change the document prompt to make it a little bit different as I go along. I can also change the citation style um, and where these citations come from. So right now I have it from both external sources and also from the library. But if you would just want 
sources to come from your library only, you can also limit that. So I think that's really handy. To be able to verify these critical discussions that I'm having, I need to make sure that I actually have citations where anything has been mentioned. So what I can do is I can highlight any sentence where I have used a critical discussion point and then I can use the cite tool. And what this does is it looks for papers on the web or in my library that are relevant to what I have spoken about. So in this case, I don't have any papers in my library that are relevant. So I can go to discover and it finds a list of research papers that are relevant, directly relevant to the statement that I have made. And then I can add these to my library uh, in different folders. I can open it, I can view the paper, or I can directly cite the paper and that adds the citation into my research paper and also at the end of the reference list. The second thing that I do on Jenny to be able to clean up my writing is to make sure that the structure is refined and that it has a scholarly flow. And I'm going to go to my introduction because I, again, I think this is my weak point. Highlight the first paragraph and go to the AI edit. The first thing that I'm going to do is fix my flow issues. First opening paragraph where the reader is first taking a look at what it is I have to say. It flows, it makes sense. Another feature that's really important is to make sure that your transitions are strong. So that means a transition from the first sentence, to the second sentence, or the first paragraph to the second paragraph, or one idea to another idea. Uh, and Jenny has got the feature where you can improve those transitions. It's small, a really small change, but trust me, as someone who has read hundreds and thousands of academic research papers and marked many, many pieces of work. These transitions really show that you have thought about how your writing is structured and it really helps with the overall flow. The third step that I do is to enhance my academic tone and clarity. So this is where you kind of make complex ideas more concise and you get rid of all of that kind of fluff in between text and the waffle that we do when we're writing. So for this, I'm going straight to my discussion because that is where I'm the most guilty of waffling. So I'm going straight there. I'm highlighting the first two paragraphs because I think that's where my weakness is. I want to simplify and paraphrase it to make sure that it is a little bit lighter, but it also still sounds quite clean and concise. It's important for you to understand why that change has been made. So I think Jenny gets a big tick for giving you that what changed and why uh, section. Another feature of AI Edit is you can increase formality. This helps with the academic style. So increasing formality just makes it sound a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, a little bit less chatty. And it has just paraphrased a couple of words for me to make it sound that little bit cleaner. Step number four is arguably the most important, I think, when it comes to this topic. And that is to make sure that your claims are grounded in evidence. The quality and the accuracy of your sources need to be 10 out of 10. There can't be any doubt in any source that you have provided. So my introduction was lacking quite a lot on citations and good references that I wanted to use to support what I've said. I have added a couple, but I do want a couple of more. So what I've done is highlighted my introduction. I've gone to the chat, the AI chat, uh, feature. This is a really cool feature that you can kind of talk a little bit to Jenny. You can actually ask questions about feedback or finding ideas or anything specific to do with your writing. And here I've said, can you find me a few references that will support and strengthen this paragraph? So I could have done it for a specific line or specific section. Um, you could do it one by one, but actually I want Jenny to read the paragraph and the, the kind of the section as a whole to be able to give me a few strong references that will really support my writing. And at this point, you could copy and paste, but that's not necessarily recommended. I would say to look at those research papers and identify which ones you want to add to your library and which ones you want to actually use because you don't have to use all of them. This is just a suggestion and a recommendation. Now, something really cool that I think nobody knows is that you can add and create some prompts. Uh, so I'm going to add this prompt, uh, which I'm going to call critical. And essentially what it is, is a prompt that you can use again and again really quickly. So I'm going to say, read the file and tell me how to improve the critical discussion in this text. So whenever I'm writing something, anything, and I'm on Jenny and I'm on the AI chat, I can just use the critical prompts that I've created and it will give me a response for that particular text. I think this is really, really useful and actually I haven't seen this anywhere else. And I think this is a bit of a little hidden secret. Step five is last, but most definitely not least. And this is where you perfect the introduction and the conclusion. So this really reframes your whole argument. It's the beginning and the end of your text. It has to be perfect. It has to be standout. 
Now, when I think about the beginning of my text, I always think about the research gap, um, that objective, the research rationale, and that's usually in the introduction. So what you can do for this, is you can ask the AI chat to review this research gap and you can say, actually, is there anything that I can, how, you know, how can I improve this? And uh, you can see that it said, maybe think about a few, how many is this few? Maybe you can think about adding a brief sentence on the significance. I think that's really handy actually. Um, think about maybe adding the unique contribution and it's saying you could add a sentence like this and it's given me a specific sentence to suggest how I could write it myself. But let's say you're not feeling super confident on the topic itself and you want to kind of think a bit more about maybe some sub areas that you can delve into a little bit more deeper, you could use the find research ideas uh, tool within the AI chat. And this is where you add your topic and Jenny thinks about some research topics that are useful and relevant to this day. And it's given me some novel research ideas for my considerations. These will give me things to discuss in my intro or conclusion if I feel like I don't have a strong enough topic already. And I don't think I've shown you this yet, but actually in the library, you can import uh, up to 100 PDFs. You can upload them from your own files or from Mendeley, from Zotero. You can connect all of these different citation platforms which are already existing, or you can take what you have and export it into those platforms as well. So it just gives you that kind of ease of use when it comes to citations and kind of your library as well. All in all, I really hope that you have seen how useful Jenny can be when it comes to academic writing, research writing, report writing, essay writing, dissertation writing, any kind of academic writing that you have to do and you want to polish it and make it that little bit better, a level where it's possibly even publishable. Um, but with Jenny and using these five steps that I've mentioned today and these five features, you're able to use Jenny as an amazing AI AI writing assistant to help you. You're able to both maintain complete control over your writing, but still use AI as an assistant to help you improve your writing that much better. If you do want to try Jenny out yourself, then I'll have a link down below along with a discount code that you can use to get a discount on the premium plan, but you can use it for free literally from now. So go ahead, click the link down below in my description. I'll leave all the details there. You can go ahead and try it. If you've been watching my channel for at least two and a half, three years, then you'll know that Jenny is probably the first AI platform that I ever kind of spoke about. So it's always nice to bring the new features and share kind of new things that you can do on the platform with you guys. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know. Um, yeah, have, do you remember the first video that you watched from me that was about Jenny? It was a very long time ago when AI first hit us all in the face um, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you hopefully next time bye